Hi, CF Goldblatt here once again, ocean futurist, author of the Luke Dodge Ocean Adventure Series, and founder of the Fish Reef Project. Uh, just a quick adjunct on the concept of a sacred cow. Humans tend to protect the large animals uh, that we can relate to because of their size. And they become a sacred cow, which means that it's considered that there's no viable harvest level for any of those animals. So food for thought is that, is that really a sustainability question or is it an ethical question to where we feel that it's unethical to take something just because it's large and we think that it's more special than the other animals? What is the difference between one life form and another? And isn't that a type of species racism to favor one over another? These are hard questions to answer and they require deep soul searching. If you look at the communities that rely on the ocean to stay alive these days, they, do tend, they tend not to discriminate between life forms. So once there's enough of something to where a light harvest will not ultimately deplete the resource, is it still unethical to harvest those animals for food? Even something as grandiose and beautiful as a whale, if you take it, you're taking one life. If you take the same amount of protein from other animals, you may be taking thousands of lives. I'm certainly not favoring whaling, but I want people to think about these things on a deep level. And what, what metric are you really using to reach these decisions? If you grew up in a city, if you bought your food at a supermarket, it's very easy to pass judgment on those that are extracting food to stay alive from nature. So I suggest before anybody makes those kinds of judgments that they spend a full year living with one of those communities, living directly off of the ocean. And this concept is now known as the Ocean Maximus Ticket. Once you go into the ocean health conservation world, people will begin to expect you to have this Ocean Maximus Ticket to where now you have a fully rounded viewpoint of the world's ocean's resources, and then you're qualified to pass judgment and policy and be an activist, but not until then. Thank you very much, and thank you for helping Ocean Life thrive.